I'll show you how to change the sleeve angle with regular sleeves. You will see how sleeve cap height changes when you change the angle of the regular sleeves. And also bicep is affected by sleeve cap height. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. Regular sleeves. You have a diagonal seam from the neck to the underarm. So you have a sleeve piece from the neck to wherever you want. I showed you two different ways of drafting regular sleeves. Episode 47 and 73. Today I'm going to explain the sleeve angles with the pattern we drafted in episode 47. You will see when you change the sleeve angle, the sleeve cap height and bicep is changed. This is the regular sleeve pattern we drafted in episode 47. The link is in the description box. Let's take the front for today's lesson and just make this long sleeve and clean some guidelines so it's easier for you to see the angles if you're shifting shoulder angles just a little bit like a little bit higher or lower you can simply redraw the shoulder seam so you can keep the shoulder seam straight if your shoulder seam is straight you can attach the front sleeve and back sleeve so you don't have a seam on the shoulder like we did in episode 47. Let's draw a bicep line from the underarm point to the shoulder extension. This should be 90 degrees. To make an angled raglan from the shoulder point measure 7 inches and draw a perpendicular line 1 inch. Connect to the shoulder point and extend the sleeve length the same as the original. You are going to keep the same sleeve hem width as well. Connect to the underarm point. You don't want to have a pointed shoulder, so draw a curve to make the shoulder nice and smooth. Let's draw a bicep line from the underarm point to the shoulder extension. Don't forget this must be 90 degrees. Because you have a curved shoulder line, you cannot make a one piece sleeve. You are gonna cut the front sleeve and the back sleeve. So you will have a seam all the way down to the hem. Let's draw a more angled regular sleeve. Instead of one inch, Let's go down 2 inches and a half. Connect to the shoulder point and extend the sleeve length. Keep the same sleeve hem and connect to the underarm point. Curve the shoulder to through the shoulder point and draw a bicep line. Bicep line from the underarm point to the shoulder extension, perpendicular. Let's draft one more. Let's go down 5 inches this time. Connect to the shoulder point and extend the sleeve length. Same width of the sleeve hem curved the shoulder. Let's draw a bicep for this as well. Okay, we have four different sleeve angles and I made them all different colors. We use the same body, which means the armhole depth is the same. Take a look at the sleeve cap height. Sleeve cap height is the distance between the bicep line to the shoulder point, right? See the black one and orange one, green one, and pink one. The more angled, the longer the sleeve cap height. And you can see all the different biceps. The longer sleeve cap height, the narrower bicep. 
This is the same as setting sleeves. The relationship between sleeve cap height and bicep is like this. If you take the sleeve in black, it will be very comfortable to lift your arm. But when you drop your arms naturally, you will see extra fabric with wrinkles around your underarm. If it goes to orange, green, and pink, extra fabric with wrinkles will disappear, but there will be restrictions when you raise your arm. Let's say you make coats or jackets with the pink pattern we just dropped it. Of course, you can make it more angled than the pink one if you want. But what if you want to increase the bicep without changing the angle? You want to keep the angle but increase the bicep. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. And if you want to learn about the relationship between the sleeve cap height and bicep with a setting sleeve, watch episode 41. You can find the link below. If you're working in the fashion industry or a student who want to become a pattern maker, I have a community for you. It's a private Facebook group. You can find the link in the description box. Join the group and have a beautiful week. See you next week.